Hey, I'm Jeff Benjamin. And I'm Rob Riley. And we are CPB. And we're here to talk about Whopper Sacrifice. When you were working on Whopper Sacrifice, did you think that it would become one of the milestone pieces of the decade? No, I think we just thought it was a fun thing to do. And I think the brief on this one was how do we make the Whopper, we talk about how great the Whopper is or America's favorite burger without sounding chest pounding. So you're always looking for things that will have our consumers say that this is a great product mm -hmm. and Whopper Sacrifice was sort of the perfect articulation of that. We yeah. certainly got lucky in that there was a, a cultural tension that was just starting to boil. Uh, in I've got all these Facebook friends, right? I got 900 friends here, but I only really know about five of them. Um, and in real life, I've got two friends. So, uh, so uh, that I'm, was I'm that was a them. you're one of them, right? But maybe not after this yeah, video. No. Did the team and the client buy into the idea from the start, or did it take some convincing that it would be the right solution? I think. Uh, we had just presented Whopper Virgins, yeah. which was a, a big thing for them to swallow. So when they saw this, they loved this right yeah, away. Yeah. Whopper Virgins took a little convincing <laughs> to do, but this one, you know, they said, let's green light this thing right away. So it, I don't think this took any convincing, no. frankly. This was, beca again, because it was a coupon ad, yeah. taking something they needed to do and sort of reinventing it. So we always look for those opportunities, no matter what the assignment is. Were there any technological issues doing such cutting edge work that needed to be overcome? Yeah, when Facebook <laughs> killed it, that was the uh, most. That was a small hurdle. That was a small hurdle. <laughs> but, you know, they killed it. You know, they, they said there was a privacy issue. But in the end, I, I don't think it was great press for them. And uh, they tried to take the function away. They didn't necessarily take it down. We, we sort of took it down ourselves because they took away the function where the person who got sacrificed was notified by an email. In fact, it was an email with your picture burning. And uh, once they took that away, it was, wasn't fun anymore. Yeah. So we sort of sacrificed it. Yeah. Had Facebook waited one more day to, uh, to get rid of some of that functionality, we would have had to just take it down ourselves. Yeah. And, and, we, would have been and out, been, we were almost out of we Whoppers. Were, well, exactly. Yeah. We were almost out of Whoppers. So and had they waited one more day, we would have been out completely. Yeah. So it was, uh, everything works out yeah. in the end. How would you describe the evolution of digital work over the last 10 years? Well, you know, I think the last 10 years, it was a lot about like being subversive and being funny and being viral, you know? That was sort of the hot thing. Like I want to make something that's going to make somebody laugh. And, uh, and we enjoyed that and it was a great time, but certainly that's evolved now. I think the last 10 years has been amazing. I've been blown away by not what our agency has done, but what everybody it's else has done. It's been a fun ride. It's been, you know, and I think BMW Films sort of, sort of started it all. Yeah. And that was the, uh, the sort of beginning of wow, this this thing called the web and digital could be really powerful. Yeah. And uh, you know, Fallon and and the, the team there when they did those films, we were just kind of sitting there and saying, wow, I'm in a different business. And uh, it's funny to, to be motivated by those things. As an industry, we are going to surprise ourselves over and over. And that's what the web has been about for the last ten years for me. I think it's gotten to a point now where, you know, there's a lot of gimmicks and a lot of uh, things done for just salacious, you know, uh, response, responses and, you know, we have to evolve into something different. So I think it's been an amazing decade. I've been completely inspired every day and that's what's great about it. You go on, it's three in the morning, you can't sleep, you go on the web and there's yeah. 50 things that will sort of blow your mind. Yeah. Where do you see the interactive digital industry heading in the next 10 years? I don't like this question. It's a, lot of, oh. it's a hard question, you know, I think, uh, I think the great thing is there's so many talented people that work in our industry that somebody will come up with something cool or something different or change the business. Again, I think it's going to be more about useful tools and, and things that are really helping consumers. I think right now, you know, there's such a level of transparency that the web offers. You know, companies are going to be forced to, you know, whether it's be transparent about their business practices or what they're doing or ask consumers to help them. Too many big companies are already doing it. For us, Domino's and Microsoft have already been transparent about whether their pizza wasn't great or their operating system wasn't perfect, and we're gonna fix it. The web is a huge part of getting feedback for consumers, and I think you're gonna see more and more big companies taking bigger risks and, and using that as, as a tool for their own improvement. You know, for me, I think uh, the next 10 years will be similar to the last 10 years, right? 
in that I think success for brands and agencies uh, will be defined by that ability to invent and then take those inventions and apply great stories to them, which is what makes those inventions relevant to all of us. Um, so I don't know exactly what they'll be, but I know it'll be, wow, where did that come from? Yeah. Like, and wow, I get, I work in this industry. Yeah, Jeff, I, I usually sit in on Jeff's interviews with potential employees just to make sure that he's not asking inappropriate questions. Uh, but often uh, he, he asks this question, which I think is the greatest interview question of all, which is, what's the last thing you invented? And I think that's what the next 10 years are about. What's the last thing that you know, we as a group have invented? But anyway, thank you very much. We're uh, honored to be a part of this top 10 of the last decade. And uh, Yeah, thanks a lot, One Club, and thanks a lot, Burger King, for again being a great partner. Thank you. <laughs>